it's me. Are you tired of me yet? Just say yes and shut me up. Pause. Click. Go on. Move on. No, don't do that. No. Okay, so I know I've been using my brother's scan and cut a lot lately, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I, I, it's weird. That I, well, it's not weird. I've been wanting to uh, use my machine more, but I tend to always go back to other things. And, and you guys have seen a lot of my paper stuff lately, but wait until you see what's coming. And I can't tell you because I'm still working on it because <clears throat> it's a process. I've got a couple different projects going on right now at the same time. I think I got one, two, three, three, and I'm getting ready to start two or three more. So... Um, trying to keep myself busy <laughs> and, and just know that again there's gonna be gaps in between projects because of the fact that other people are sharing and they're getting in some extra extra entries to go in for the booyah contest anyway so um, I, I always love you guys always love you so I thought okay I saw this paper when I did my mother's um, design patterns and de or designs and patterns um, for the graphic 45 set that I did for her birthday um, I used all of my craft paper my eight and a half by eleven craft paper and so I actually went to go get it and me I, I should have got it a couple days before because they were on sale like right now they're on sale like five for ten um, but I didn't but I was like you know what I only need like two packs of them anyway um, so, you know, no big deal. I just didn't want to have to go back because then I ended up buying more. And you guys all know that I have too much and I'm constantly trying to get rid of my stuff as it is. Um, but anyway, when I was there, they actually had, like, um, uh, the labeled, uh, the labeled shape, uh, in craft paper. And I thought, oh, well, hell, I've never seen that before. What the hell? I'll buy that. You know, I could have a lot of fun with that stuff. I can use them in layouts. I can use them in books. I can make books. I can make folded cards. I can do, um... I do wrap letters and brochures. I keep thinking of all these things running through my mind. I thought, what the hell? I'll get one of those too. So anyway, so I came home and I kept looking at it for like two days. And I'm like, I know what I want to do with that. And this is um, right before October hit. I think it was the end of, mid to end of September. It, it was in September because I had to go to the eye doctor. Um, and it's on the other side of the bay where we used to live. So I, uh, I always stop at Michael's because I delight my eyes and I do not want to go across the Bay Bridge fully dilated eyes on a very sunny day is just it's a blaring so I tend to always go to Michael's which is about a yeah, mile and a quarter from where I'm usually at um, for my eye appointment which is on Bay East and West Bay takes you right on out to either clear water or takes you it takes you from the airport all the way out to the water of course you're surrounded by water there Roxy. So, hello Roxy anyway so, yes, Roxy. Very good girl. I have no idea if I've seen you in a while. Anyway, so I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, that looks like an owl's head. And I was like, no way. So I decided to go ahead and it kept playing on my mind, playing on my mind. So as I'm going through my punches and my dies, I was going through my dies, got those up, and then I decided to go through my punches. And I haven't even, if you guys are on the Fry page, you might know that, that it's, I've already posted uh, the comment that I'm going to be putting some up. I actually have... Is it three? Three, three or four shoe boxes? Or are the picture boxes full? Yes, Roxy. Roxy. She Roxy. Anyway, so I was looking, I was like, oh crap, that's perfect. Because I was trying to figure out how I was going to do the feathers. Uh, and I was like, okay, I got to do feathers. I can make it plain, but I want to do some feathers on it. And I had all this scrap paper left over. And I had to go pull an extra sheet. All right, Rox. Roxy. Roxy. Rox. Foxy rocks. Foxy Roxy. Okay, so anyway, I want to um, share this with you guys. I used Martha Stewart Leaf Punch. This is the same one that has the stamp in it that you could do like the stem and everything in it. I, I never use that. I just keep it locked into the top of it. But I had leftover paper from doing uh, a project that I can't show you yet. <laughs> I'm working on projects and then I pulled another sheet with the one side one paper that was scraps it was a two-sided paper and um, so I went ahead and I punched all that out and then I found some cheetah print paper and I thought well it'd be kind of cool be like a, a wooden barn snow angel or snow owl so I want to show you what it came up with and I did I did use um, my brother's skin cut and a two more punches I used um, the one and three quarter punch 
um, stamp it up. And then I use my EK light bulb punch. Um, there's some that I'm not getting rid of, and those just happen to be a couple of those. So anyway, Roxy's just not going to stop licking me, so she won't move. So I'm going to show you my owl. And here is my owl. How cute is that, right? Super duper cute. So, <coughs> pardon me. All of these are Lee's. And I just put them in random order. Use regular Elmer's or glue. The black one is punched with the one and three quarters punch um, from the Stampin' Up. And then I went to my machine and I went to one and three quarters. This is like two, two and a half. And then I went to um, three and a quarter, I think, on these. Um, so once I got all this together and assembled, I used mostly all glue um, for this one. And then I used a little glossy after putting just a little bit of sparkle in the eye itself. Just around the edges, just slight. And then I used my white gel pen to give it some um, twinkly look to its eyes. And then I put some more leaves to be feathered so you guys can see this more that it is actually leaves. And then I took some pieces of scrap paper and I just crossed it over, folded it over like you would do um, snowflakes. And I just, okay, I'm going to mimic what I think would be like the brow, brow uh, raised brow look with the feathers. So I ended up doing that and then I just took my uh, white gel pen and just flushed it across and then used my finger and um, got it warm and rubbed it down, okay? So it would smooth down a little bit more like it was supposed to be. And then I just put kind of dots in like, um, like to me it's a spotted wood barred owl. Um, I've got a chance to see a lot of different birds, and owls have fascinated me, um, across the country. But anyway, the little beak here is actually, um, the, um, EK light bulb, Christmas light bulb punch. And I used the gold because I thought it'd be a little bit cooler. Um, but the back, and you're going to see where it's like a bracket. Um, I always tell everybody that I save, even though that I store my stamps differently, um, in CD cases, I always keep the plastic or the overlay. And what I did is I actually wrote my what I usually write on my cards, the CCC, and then the year. Um, and then I just cut around it after sealing it, and then added this little extra sticker of a little illusion. Of, but you guys can see that the paper is that bracket that was already shaped like it. Like I said, I've never seen it. So I thought that was pretty cute. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. She bark it. So anyway, here's the inside of the card. You can fully see the whole shape die cut uh, craft paper. I thought it was adorable. Had a little fun with it. Um, I have the black matting with the white paper. And then just sticks. Up. I'm trying to use my stickers up. And I, I have stamps out the woohooey. Um, yeah, trust me. And I got to go through those again, guys. I know there's so many of you out there that are looking for certain stamps. Um, so I just used that. And I had these... Um, these spiders and anytime that if you cause this is i tell you i got the snow barn owl that i was thinking about like the 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 barn owl out in the winter snow <clears throat> it's got me all thinking with the whole color scheme and me i always see these nasty nasty spiders <laughs> i think it's from being in the south southwest midwest um and it's just really weird that i see a lot of freaky spiders and a lot of my friends back home do not know what these spiders look like um not directly in their house so, um, anyway, I ended up taking them. I wanted to use them somehow anyway, and then I just crisscrossed everything. Uh, so you got plenty of room to say what you want to say, you know, put a picture here, whatever. And it's just, um, owl chills and thrills. Um, and I think it came out really cute. And again, it was pretty basic. Um, scraps, um, scraps, scraps. I think it was all scraps, except the main piece of paper. Actually, these two I'd actually go full eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. Um, scraps and leftovers is what I made from that. And I, I thought maybe it would give you guys an idea on what you might want to do with that craft paper if you guys have bought any. Um, and again, it already had the shape. I just bone folded it in half and I just went to town. Um, and you guys, I'm sure you can use all different kinds of punches. Look how many different layers I did. They took me a while. I still have some leftover. Anybody want some leaf punched, punched leaves <laughs> and, and grays and blacks and whites? Anyway, I think it came out pretty cool. Um, so I hope you like it. It goes with the whole fall autumn theme. Um, and Roxy, do you like it? Rox, Rox, do you like it? Okay, so yeah, she's not impressed. She's not impressed. Are you impressed? Yeah. All right. So Rox and I are gonna rock it out of here for a while. Bye guys.